Hello dear Glorians of Standard 5. We will be continuing with the chapter Multiples and Factors. So we were on the problem set 34 and we already completed the sum number 1 and 2 from this problem set. We, I, I have given you all the third sum of this problem set as homework. Now we are on the fourth sum. Okay. So the fourth question says which of the prime numbers are even numbers so you all know what are even numbers and what are odd numbers so even numbers basically start from 2 then it goes like this 4 6 8 10 and so on now odd numbers start from the number 1 so let's say 1 3 5 7 9 all of all of these numbers are odd numbers so what you have to do girls over here you have to find out a prime number that is an even number so firstly we are going to see whether 2 is a prime number or not so we know that 2 has the factors as 1 and 2 right we have already did this and we know that 2 is an even number right rest if i say if i say let's say 3 or 5 or 7 or 11 these are also prime numbers but these are odd numbers there are no other even prime numbers that means the only even prime number is the number 2 and this is your answer okay so we will write down the answer as 2 is the only even prime number so this is just your sorry number s is not there so this is the final answer easy right you don't have to do anything else you just have to write down 2 is and you can pick up words from here so 2 is the only even prime number okay now in order to go ahead with the problem set 35 we will just see what that problem set is about and in order to do or, or in order to start with that problem set we will first understand what that problem set is saying so in this problem set or in the problem set 35 there there is a question related to co prime numbers and to answer that question we will have to first understand what are co prime numbers okay so i will just give you an example for this okay this is just for your understanding if you want you can write if not then it's fine okay so let's say i'm giving you an example of two numbers okay over here so just remember girls whenever the question comes for, for co prime numbers there will be always two numbers given to you all okay so i have these two numbers i have taken these two numbers now what i have to do is i have to find out the factor for the number four first so the factor for four is one two and four i hope you all now know how to find out factors the factors for the number nine are one three and nine now after doing this girls can you see that from all of these factors there is something common it in between the two and what is that that common number is the number one only one okay so if a pair of numbers that is given over here four and nine are having a common num a, a common factor as the number one then these pair of numbers are co prime numbers okay so the number 4 9 are co prime numbers if apart from 1 there 
if let's say if there is another number which is also common let's say if i say i have two over here and two here as well then that means there are more than one common factor there are two common factors now and so these pair of numbers then are not co prime numbers okay you will understand it better girls when i will start with the problem set okay but as of now you have to understand that if a pair of numbers are having a common factor that is 1 then those pair of numbers are co prime numbers we will now start with the problem set 35 so as you can see here girls the question says determine whether the pairs of numbers given below are co prime numbers so here what you have to do is you have to find out from the question which of the pair of numbers are co prime numbers okay so the first sum is the number the numbers sorry 22 and 24 so as you can see girls here the number is 22 and 24 now you have to find out the factors of these numbers first so i will write in this way girls we are going to solve this sum okay factors of 22 now the factors of 22 are what i am just writing the factors girls i hope you all know, now know how to find out the factors by doing it in your working column or rough column you will do that and you will write the factors okay so one 21 in the table of 1 22 comes in the table of 2 22 comes in the table of 11 22 comes in the table of 22 22 comes okay so these are the factors of 22 now i will write the factors of 20 4 so what are the factors of 24 the factors of 24 are 1 2 3 4 6 8 12 and 24 just for your your sake girls i am just solving out the first factor okay i i just want you to revise it once again so the factors of 22 we have to find out right so this is our number you have to do this in your rough column okay so i have 1 2s 122s i will give me 22 then 22 1s i will give me 22 i got these two factors right i have written it over here then i have 11 2s is 22 I got the third factor and two elevens are. I used our trick. I exchanged the numbers. Is twenty two. In this way, you find out the factors. Similarly, you will do for the number twenty four. I just did it for your explanation. This thing you are going to write it in your working column. Okay, you are not going to write it beside the sum. You are going to write this in your working column after this girls after writing down the factors of each of the numbers we will write the common factors now so the common factors are what we will circle the common factors so you can circle it with the help of pencil okay use pencil for that no need to use pen i am the circling that we are doing is just for understanding okay you can do it with your pencil only so here i have 1 as the common factor and any other number yes i have 2 as well so how many common factors i have got two common factors so i will write 1 comma 2 now we will write the final statement for that i am putting your three zeros in the form of a triangle these three zeros are called as therefore okay so therefore we will write these two numbers the question okay 22 24 are not co prime numbers 
Why I wrote girls that these two numbers are not co-prime numbers? The reason is I am getting more than one common factor as you can see. If I had only one as the common factor then these numbers would have become co-prime numbers. But as I am getting more than one common factor that is the reason these two numbers are not co-prime numbers okay i hope you all understood this we will do some few more sums from this problem set okay so that you can understand it better and there will be few sums which will be given as homework now girls we will do the sum number three okay the sum number three sorry the sum number three the sum number three says ha, or has the numbers the pair of numbers as 10 and 33 so now what we are going to do is we are going to find out the factors of each of these numbers so i am going to write down factors of 10 so what are the factors of 10 1 2, 5 and 10. Now I will write down the factors of 33. What are the factors of 33 girls? 1, 3, uh, 11 and 33. Now we will find out the common factor. So I am going to circle it down. So, the number 1 is only the common factor out of all of the factors. So, here we will write down common factors. So, what are the common factors? 1, okay. There is only 1 as the common factor. So, therefore, 10, 33 are co-prime numbers are co-prime numbers so girls i hope you are now understanding these sums okay now girls we will do the fourth sum from this problem set okay so the fourth sum has numbers 11 and 30 so as we did in the previous sums we will first find out the factors the way we did for this sum so factors of 11 what are the factors for 11 1 and 11 okay now the factors of 30 what are the factors of 30 so there are numbers 1 2 3 5 6 sorry 6 okay not 60 sorry 6 10 15 and 30 so as you can see over here girls the common factors from both of the both of the numbers 11 and 30 what are the common factors from your girls the common factors are one only right so now we will write common factors the common factor is only one and then finally we will write our last sentence that is therefore 11 30 are co-prime numbers the way we got our answer for the third uh, third sum okay so the fourth sum is also having co-prime numbers so this is the way you are going to solve the sums now we will do two more sums from this problem set now we will do the sum number five okay so the sum number five has the numbers five and seven so as we did for the other sums we will first find out the factors of each of the numbers so the factors of 5 are 
वन एंड फाइव द फैक्टर्स फॉर और ऑफ सेवन आर वन एंड सेवन नाउ वी विल फाइंड आउट द कॉमन फैक्टर्स तो द कॉमन फैक्टर वॉट इज द कॉमन फैक्टर गर्ल्स अवर यर देर इज ओनली वन नंबर एंड दैट इज द नंबर वन ओके सो द नंबर वन इज योर कॉमन फैक्टर दैट मीन्स देर फोर फाइव सेवन आर को प्राइम नंबर्स ओके lastly we will do only one sum that is the sum number 7 okay so in this sum the numbers are 50 and 52 so let us firstly find out the factors for each of the numbers so the factors of 50 are what 1 I hope you remember how to find out factors, girls. These is this is the work that you will have to do in in your working column. Okay, so one, two, five, five, ten, twenty five, and fifty are factors of fifty. Now we will find out the factors of fifty two. So what are the factors of fifty two? The factors of fifty two are one. Two, four, thirteen, twenty-six, and fifty-two. So these are the factors for the number fifty-two. Now we will find out common factors. So the common factors. Sorry, girls, I have not written common factor over here. One, okay? I have not written for the previous sum. Sorry. Common factors. What are the common factors, girls? I have sorry. I have the number one as common. I have the number two as common. I have any other number? No. So the common factors are one and two. Therefore, fifty, fifty-two are. not co prime numbers i hope now you understood these sums as well as the entire problem set so the sums that we are left with are going to be your homework and those sums are the sum number 2 the sum number 6 sorry 6 yes 6 and the sum number 8 three sums are going to be your homework we did the sum number 1 3 4 5 and 7 the sum numbers 2 6 8 are going to be your homework okay so girls by this we come to the end of the lesson we have completed the entire chapter i hope you understood everything that i have taught you and i have given you an assignment girls i would want you all to do that assignment as well okay so yeah that's it so take care girls be safe Pra keep practicing you will understand things better okay thank you